and welcome back to Liz Sews. I thought I would just take this week to sort of get reinvigorated in sewing. A lot of the things I've been making lately just haven't been working out, and so I'm getting a little bit down on myself and in a rut, so I just I think now's a good time to look through pretty things and just appreciate what I have. Um, and start moving forward. I have gone through these rather recently, maybe a couple weeks ago, and redid all of my, my bra kits uh, and reorganized my sewing room, so these should be in some good order. So let's, let's go through these one at a time and take a look at all of the pretty things. So first up, I have this lace. I purchased it off of AliExpress. I do have a couple of things coming in the mail to make with this lace. Uh, I had a lot of trouble coming up with colors that I thought would match with it. So I think what I've decided, I have to check to see, but I think what I had decided is ivory looked the best. Um, it, it wasn't a great match, but it, having a green that wasn't the right sort of green just didn't work. So I just have two yards of this. Uh, and I still don't know what I want to make with it, but I just, I love this grungy green color, obviously, if you can see my nails. And same deal, this one came from AliExpress as well. Uh, and I do have some elastics to go with it. So I got some foldover elastic, which is gonna make some underwear and then uh, some decorative like pico edged elastic. Again, I have two meters of this and it is quite wide. So I'm definitely gonna be able to make um, underwear and a bra out of it, maybe even a long line bra. Uh, what I've gone ahead and purchased, I think I got stuff in the colorway petrol blue, uh, and, and it hasn't come yet. It is coming from Sweden, and I think with all of this stuff happening in the world, uh, the shipping times have been greatly reduced. I don't know if it's caught in U.S. Customs or what has happened, but again, I have purchased elastics to go with this, and I'm excited to make a complete set. Now, when I'm making these kits, I always include the wires in the bag as well, just because uh, it's always the worst when you go to make a bra and you don't have a wire for it. I've put my just classic size 40 um, day style wires. I don't necessarily use those every single time. I like using plunge wires a lot as well, but so it, it could be that once I've actually decided what I'm going to make with this bra, I'll take these out and substitute a plunge wire in but I like to at least have one pair of wires associated with every kit. So this is a kit that I put together for just like a, a Christmas themed bra. And I want to say that most of this stuff came in a beware mystery box. So what I have is sort of this white satiny fabric. It doesn't, it's not duoplex. It's not, uh, it's not thick enough to be duoplex, but so it might be a trico or something like that, but it, it is, it's a stable fabric in this like pristine white. And then I have white power net to go with it, uh, and a white hook, uh, yeah, hook and eye, and then all red findings. So I think this will make a really cool, interesting Christmas style bra. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that I hope the, these red findings don't bleed onto the white. Uh, but all of the these red findings, I think, are like the bra maker supply red. And I haven't had any issues with them bleeding out before because they're factory dyed. They're not like a, a home dye like bra builders. So I think it should be okay. Um, but yeah, so this is one of the bra kits that I had like done a poll around Christmas time of what you wanted to see made and this one didn't get in but I can't get this one out of my head I really like the idea of the pristine white with the red because I don't wear a ton of red but um as an accent I think it looks kind of cool and be a little candy cany and then see here you can tell I've put a plunge wire in with this because it will more than likely be uh, a plunge black beauty bra so next up, I have a bra builder's kit. I have made a bra out of this already, and I can post a picture of that. But it is the Midsummer's kit, I think. I don't think they carry it anymore. It was a limited edition. Um, but it has this really, really pretty lace, and I have almost the full two meters left of it uh, with this yellow background and then sort of like an ice blue flower on it. Uh, and then it comes... The kit came with some micro duoplex, which I have here. So in this yellow colorway, but I think what I wanna do is make a fully lace bra. 
So I went back and purchased some uh, sheer cup lining in this topaz color. So that will be the lining for the bra underneath the lace. So it'll, it'll keep that really nice delicate yellow color. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and if I'm honest, it's probably going to be a black beauty. I mean, <laughs> that's the bra that I make the most frequently. Though I have to say, I have been making a lot of Berkeley bras lately and I'm been really, really enjoying them. Uh, it's really a comfortable pattern for me. It's not a surprise that I love both of those patterns because they have very similar seaming in the cup. But, um, yeah, this is a really pretty stable lace. Uh, and then I just have topaz findings to go with it and then I went and purchased uh, the topaz fold over elastic as well so I can make that view of the Black Beauty that has um, the fold over straps. So while I'm on that topic, I, like I said, I do have the micro duoplex in that color as well. Um, and the first time I sewed with it, I did have a little bit of problems just because I didn't have the right needle. But um, I've, I've done a lot of experimentation now and I think I understand what I need to do. I need to use a much smaller Microtex needle and then some sew fine thread. So I might want to go back and redo my bra with this micro duoplex because it's really soft and stable. So I mean, it's a it's a really interesting fabric to have such strength and stability, but uh, to be so soft and fluid. And I certainly have enough left over that I could do another bra. And, and then this is the power net that matches it. Uh, and then of course I have another set of the topaz findings to go with it. So I could just do an all yellow bra, uh, which I would love. I just love yellow, but um, other people might think it's a little boring. So next up, it looks like I just have purple or I think this is plum pudding. It's one of their Beware's limited edition colors. I just, I really liked this purple. I thought it was pretty. So I went back and purchased um, just the sheer cup lining because I love making these sheer bras out of just the lining. Uh, and I can, for me, I'm, I'm relatively small bust size. So a single layer is enough for me. Um, but I just think it's such a gorgeous color. And then of course I have the matching uh, findings to go with it. So my sheer bras, I have a couple of patterns that are my go-to for sheer bras. Uh, I tried doing a sheer bra in the Black Beauty and I didn't love the fit of it. So I would probably do a uh, Harriet bra from Cloth Habit. That's my go-to sheer bra pattern. But I'd also like to work on the Chloe. So maybe, I don't know. So along that same color, I have the original kit that I had purchased in Plum Pudding. Um, so I purchased the Lacy support, Lacy support version, I think that's it. Um, so it comes with micro duoplex and lace, but it does not come with sheer cup lining. So that's why I purchased this sheer cup lining separately uh, in the same color. I might use some of that in this as well. Um, but again, just like the topaz, this one is that micro duoplex, which just has such a nice, lovely, soft feel. Um, beautiful color and I think I think they were out of thread when I purchased this or thread in this color so I think I just got black thread to go with it the so fine thread works so much better with this uh, material so definitely if you're struggling sewing micro duoplex I would recommend the so fine thread with it um, but hopefully black won't be too jarring so micro duoplex I have the power net and then this lace that's sort of in the same color tone. Um, so we have that. So next up I have, this is some, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's lingerie satin. Um, Taylor made gave it to me in part of a grab bag for uh, my TM Collaboratory. So it wasn't something that I had picked out, but I'm absolutely in love with it. And I want to say that this was the royal purple colorway. Um, 
I think that's what it is, but it's really pretty. It's very similar to Duoplex, except it's a lot thinner, um, but satin and it has just a really deep, rich color. So what I was going to do with it as I was, I, I'm going to pair it with this black lace and I'm actually thinking about making maybe a marble bra. I haven't made one of those in a really long time and I need to sort of revisit it, but I was thinking like this for the main cup and then uh, this black lace as just that decorative upper cup piece. And then I was doing some sketching and I kind of want to turn this into a complete set. So with matching uh, underwear and because this is non-stretch lace, I would just do a center panel in the front of, um, sorry, non-stretch fabric. I would just do a center panel in the front of this and then the rest of the panties be a black power net and then maybe even a garter belt um i do have garters that i and i have uh stockings thigh stockings and i've never worn them because that right now my garters only attach to corsets and i never really want to wear a corset because it's not very comfortable so i just wear it for like photographs and stuff so i've never worn my seamed stockings so i'd like to give that a try so maybe a full set out of this and then i thought that the navy findings looked really good with this blue so that's what I've gone with um these are navy from bra maker supply so I have all of the findings that I need to do and I even have a bow which I hardly ever have um so this is kind of exciting maybe this is this is the one I think I want to get inspired by I think I want to start on this uh next month because it'll be a lot different than the things that I normally make because I, I hardly ever work on full complete sets. And so to be able to have a bra and underwear and barter might be really nice. I think I'd want to do a test show of the Marlboro first because it's been several years since I've made that pattern don't really remember the fitting nuances on it. So I'd probably make it up in a different fabric first before I move to this. But this one gets me excited. So this is this is exactly why uh, I think it's a good idea to go through your stash sometimes. So I don't know about you, but I have such a hard time finding green findings. Like, that's why I was so in love when the uh, bra builders started doing all these different green colors because I love green so, so, so much and I can never find green findings. So I looked around at a lot of different elastic for this lace. I do have two lengths. I think each one is a meter. Um, and what I decided is that I was just going to go with nude elastic because I think it's, it's color wise, it, it looks good with this green. And because it's nude, it's not going to be too, um, it won't stick out too much. So I do have, I think I have, yeah, all the elastic that I need for this. And then I had some strapping that I thought was fairly close. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this green strapping, but then everything else will be nude with that one. Um, and because I have so much of the lace, I can probably do a pair of matching underwear. So next up I have... This is leftovers from my kit from Emerald Erin. Um, I'll pop up a picture of the bra that I made with it previously. Uh, but this is just a really gorgeous embroidered tool. Um, and I have plenty left over after making my first bra. So I think I did go back and get another Black Beauty finding kit to go with it and latte. I think the first bra I made, I used white, um, but I really like the latte how it like disappears against this fabric in your skin um so but i think i want to make something a little bit different and I'm, i have made the esplanade bra esplanade bra by um orange lingerie and it just the projection on it is too big for me like the cups are just too big so i'm thinking i want to sort of make a long line uh, strapless bra with this and but I'm gonna base it off of the black beauty pattern so I'm gonna take the the band of the black beauty and extend it down to make it a long line bra and then I'm going to take the center bridge and bring that up in the center so it's it's much more of like a balconette style so the day style wires are lower in the center front like this um, but if you're doing a strapless bra it's better to have a wire that sort of has uh, 
the same height both in the middle and the outer edges. It just helps to, to support you a little bit better when you don't have straps. Uh, so I think that's what I want to do. It's going to take some much more pattern manipulation than some of these other projects, but I think that would be really pretty and I, ooh, I, I'd love to have another bra in this fabric uh, because I have just a small amount of this not a small amount, but I don't have a ton of this fabric left over. Again, I'm gonna have to test out my theories on something that I don't care about first before I cut into the rest of this. So this is another lace from Beware. You'll notice most of my laces come from Beware. Um, they, are, they have just a huge selection of lace. And whenever I'm bored or, or down, I just love looking through their site and getting some inspiration. So this is a, let's say it's like a soft coral maybe. I think it's such a beautiful summer color. And um, I picked up this, this is peach from Bra Builders. So this is a standard color in their repertoire. So when they always have, it never goes out of stock. Um, but I thought that the peach looked pretty good with this corally color. Uh, and then I, you know, I just went through and I, I went through all of my different findings that I have and tried to, to see what looked best. So I have this sort of really bright strapping, um, but I don't have a ton of it. So it's if I use this, it's got to be, these can't be the full straps. So I'm going to have to do something like, like with the Black Beauty. And then I just have a um, peachy nude underwire channeling. This is a peach from Bra Builders. Uh, pink I thought looked pretty good with it for the bottom and then I also have this fold over elastic that's almost a perfect match at least to my eyes so yeah I might go ahead and do a black beauty with the fold over straps and that way that way I can use this strapping and this fold over elastic and that should give me enough so it might look a little hodgepodgey with all of these other different colors from the inside, but I think everything from the outside will look matchy matchy. Um, that's the plan at least. So this is a Beware lace as well, and I believe this one came in a uh, mystery box kit. But I think it's really pretty, really pretty uh, periwinkle sort of like purple leaning blue. Uh, and then when I looked through all of my elastics and stuff, the thing that I thought worked best with it was white. So that's what I've chosen to put in here. I think the white really is a good stark contrast to that blue. Um, so I like how that looks. It's, it's also quite, um, quite wide lace. So I might be able to get at least the front panel of underwear out of this maybe. Um, we'll have to see. Here's a kit from Emerald Erin. Um, and this is a non-stretch lace in sort of this red, uh, red color way with gold stitching on it. So like I said, it's non-stretch lace and it's, it's not a lace trim. So it's not one of those like eight inch wide things. It's actually like a piece of fabric, so it's quite large. Uh, I could probably get two bras out of this. I, I have gone back and forth over what findings. I purchased black findings with this, but then I was thinking maybe nude might look a little better, but then I've seen some people make this with black, and I, so I've gone back and forth. So I don't really know what I'm doing with this one yet. So it's gonna sit here for a while. Um, I don't have inspiration for it. So this is one that I, it's one of those laces where I love it so much that I'm afraid to use it. So then it never gets used, so that it never gets its full love, which is really, really sad. I need to stop doing that. So this is a lace that I purchased from Libel Sewing in Canada. Uh, they've had some really good sales lately, but I haven't been able to partake in any of them because uh, they're shipping to the US right now. It's just astronomical. So it has this really gorgeous, like light mint, like just very light mint with, with a nude combination to it. And I have two meters. And then I picked out just a lot of nude findings to go with it. So I love this lace so much. It's going to be a complete set, so bra and underwear. Uh, but I don't know what pattern I want to use for it yet. And I'm just so afraid of messing up this lace that I love so much. So if you guys have any ideas for for what you would want to see this lace in, let me know. Because I, whew, 
I just really, really love this colorway and I'm afraid. So this is Black Cherry. Um, so I have Black Cherry Duoplex. This comes from Brawnmaker Supply, but I always purchase it through Beware. Uh, much, it's a much thicker fabric and I love this color so much. I've made two or three black cherry bras out of duoplex already and none of them fit me. Um, so I'm bound and determined that this one is going to be one that fits me. And because it's from Maker Supply, of course, they have all of the matching findings that go with it. So that's a no brainer. Um, there's a power net. I do have to say that sometimes the dyes on this get a little weird. So, so this one is a black cherry that I've purchased. And you can see how it's a little bit redder toned, but then more recently it's been coming in more purpley toned. So both of these are shipped as black cherry, so I never really know which one I'm going to get. But lately I've been having a lot more of the purple and the less of the red toned ones. So I don't know. Just kind of have to play it by ear as to which ones that I'm going to use. But again, like I've said, I've made black cherry duoplex bras multiple times and they never end up fitting me so I don't they're always too small and I don't know if it, maybe that particular color of duoplex um is just a little bit less stretch like duoplex doesn't have a lot of stretch in it at all but it does have some give because it's a knit we're getting close to the end guys so this one is an emerald Aran where I purchased it from and it is some pistachio bra tool so I've already made I bought the kit for this with latte findings and I've already made a bra and I'll pop up a picture of that here but I do want to do another one because that bra is really nice uh, so I have the pistachio and then I was just I like it with the latte again so I just do have sort of nude findings to go with it and then I also have this mint fold over elastic in my stash so I don't know if this is gonna I might make I might make some underwear to go with it uh, where the, the most of the underwear is nude, but maybe it has like a little panel of the bra tool in it. Just a small little panel because the bra tool doesn't stretch that much. Uh, and then covering the like holes and the waist with the mint as well, just sort of tie it all in. So yeah, that's exciting. I like that one a lot. It's great when I get the kits from Bra Builders or Emerald Erin is that most of the time they have enough fabric that I can get two bras out of it if they just need to get more elastics. So this is a lace that I purchased from Taylor Made Shop. And I've seen a lot of people use this lace, so I'm sure you've seen it around. It's really pretty. It's very wide. Um, embroidered tool so this is doesn't have any stretch to it and it is wrinkly so I do need to probably hit this with some steam before I make anything out of it uh, but my thinking on this is going to be very similar to that other embroidered tool I showed you is that I want to do sort of a long line bra so that you get more more of this showing up on the band of the bra so maybe, maybe a long line bra with just a darted single piece cup would be nice. So then you don't have to, I wouldn't be interrupting any of this stuff up here. And then I could, could get more of the lace into the bottom of the bra. That's another one I'm excited about trying. So let's put that in the list of possibilities for the near future. And then I just... I didn't buy a kit, I just bought the lace itself, and then I sort of have a bunch of like light pinky-ish uh, findings to go with it. So next I have just ivory. This lace came from Beware. Uh, and it's a very simple, you know, one color ivory, but I think it might make a nice bra. So I just purchased ivory findings to go with it because I think I just want to do one monotone color bra. Uh, I don't know what pattern, maybe a Harriet or maybe a Marlboro if I get that one up to snuff. I don't have a lot of, I don't have, let's see, I don't have ivory power net 
That's pretty stretchy. I might be able to cover the back with this lace as well. The one sort of like tip I can give you is that if you don't have power nut that matches exactly, a lot of times I can just use like a nude or something and then cover the back band with the stretch lace. As long as the lace stretches more than the power nut, you should be fine. So that way you get the coherent look on the outside, but you still have the strength and sturdiness of the power nut on the inside. So this is another lace that I purchased rather recently from Beware, and I think it was in part of my haul video. Um, just this gorgeous blue with black on the edges. And initially I had purchased some navy findings to go with it, but the navy just was not the right color tone for this blue. It, it was not a good match. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is black findings. I think that that ties in a little bit nicer um, than the navy here. Let's see, if I open up the navy, you can see it again. So, so the, here's the navy findings. You can see that they are leaning a little bit more purpley blue than, than this lace, which is like a true blue. So I think black will look better with this. Uh, it's quite a dark lace, so it, it doesn't really make sense for this time of year. So this one's probably gonna be put on the back burner for a little while. And I have two yards, so I could do under with, underwear with it as well. So I have a evergreen kit from Bra Builders. So for this one, I have the Micro Duoplex again. Very strong, very silky. I have some sheer cup lining and the sheer cup lining takes the color a lot differently. This is a lot more blue toned than this, which has more green tone to it. Uh, and then power net, and then I have some lace dyed to match. So all of these are quite tonally different for me but I think as long as I just have if I don't think I'm going to do a full sheer bra with the evergreen I think it's always going to be underneath lace so I don't it doesn't bother me that much that it doesn't match and then of course I have the findings um I don't have a go-to bra pattern yet for micro duoplex I still need to do some some work with it A lot of the times uh, I fit my pattern for a specific type of fabric. So for the Harriet, I've got it fitted to sheer cup lining. And so the Harriet tends to be my go-to pattern for sheer bras. So I, so that's what I mean by I don't have a go-to pattern for duoplex yet. I don't have a pattern that fits perfectly with duoplex, micro duoplex just some white lace that I purchased from Beware and I was planning on doing I don't have any elastics with this because what I was planning on doing is another one of those Madeline racer back sort of bralettes so it doesn't have any structure or anything like that to it it's just be a nice white simple bra um, so I have two I think I might have two or three meters because I do know those bralettes take a lot of lace, but then you don't use a lot of elastics or any. So this one is the Fern kit from Bra Builders. I have made a bra out of this already, uh, but I do have a lot of this lace left over. So I'm gonna make another one. Um, I don't know. So I made a Harriet, I think, the first time, and then I made a Black Beauty out of the Fern sheer cup lining. I am out of sheer cup lining in the Fern colorway, so I, don't, I may need to buy some more or maybe just back this with uh, a nude so that it doesn't interrupt the color. But I don't know what other pattern I would want to make with this. I just loved this color. So I definitely have enough here to make another bra. Um, some leftover findings and stuff, but I don't, I don't know what pattern it's gonna go with it. And then sort of last but not least is a, another tailor-made collaboratory kit that I have. Uh, and this one was one that she, I just asked her to send me a grab bag or a mystery bag, and this is what she sent. Um, so it is this really pretty sort of like apricot colored 
place, which looks really good against my skin tone. It almost is, I have very uh, warm undertones, so yellowy undertones. So this look, this sort of color always works well with me uh, with just embroidered flowers and it's only on one edge of the lace. And then she sent along, I think mostly stuff for, I think this is a Black Beauty with the fold over straps, fold over elastic straps, because I do have some, looks like I have some um, tool tape for stabilizing those straps and I have fold over elastic and everything like that. So this was sort of interesting because it's not something that I necessarily would have picked for myself, but I do really like uh, this, this lace a lot. So I'm excited to try it out. I don't know if I'm gonna, I haven't decided yet what my May TM project, Taylor Laboratory project is going to be. Uh, when, so her shop is based in New York, so uh, she shut down, obviously, uh, with a stay-at-home order. And right before she shut down, she sent out three months worth of TM Collaboratory projects for us to work on. So I have a couple of different projects I can do for her in May, and I just don't know which one I'm most excited to work on first. So we have this one. I have uh, a swimming suit that I want to make uh, with some really cool ribbed knit fabric, and then I have this the uh, the royal purple lingerie satin that I could choose from. So lots of different options and I'm excited about all of them. So I don't know which TaylorMade Collaboratory project I'll work on in May. It might be this one because these flowers are so seasonally appropriate. So that is all of the kits that I have made up. Now this is not an exhaustive uh, thing of all of the lace I have. I definitely have a giant gallon size Ziploc bag of lace, but these are the ones that I had gone through and curated and picked out and and chosen elastics for and stuff like that. So I hope you guys have liked this and just sort of perusing through different laces and different options, something that you can put on and, and just relax to, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.